hello friend so this is my website i am going to show my website about resume builder so i have made it in the asp.net asp is the active server pages so i have made it in the guide of mr krutubesh naik sir and it's in microsoft visual studio so we have website 7 it will take some time to open so i am going to deb start debug of this site so this is the home page of my website here there is one image and a top bar this is the content of the master pages this is our specialty what we do what we like to do what our customer want from us and this is all about the home page now we will go to the about us so this is about us what resume builder do resume builder is the fastest most efficient way to build an efficient resume featuring hundreds of templates and professional design etc this is our skills and if we want to create a resume first we have to sign up or login if you have an already account then you can sign up and if you already don't have a account you have to sign up and if you already had an account you have to log in so now we will click on free it will redirect us to the sign up page then let's suppose i have a username xyz and email id is xyz at the rate of outlook.com since we have provided a, a column of age so the resume will not be built for the the resume is built for the students or the members who are participating in an interview or appearing for a job so their age must be above 18 or 18 so we have provided a column of ages so you can select your age respectively let suppose i am selecting 22 and the gender as may now i am typing password as ada and i am retyping the password as ada now i am signing up and then i am logging out and then i am logging to the site the username is xyz at the rate of outlook.com and the password is ada now we have logged in since it is telling us please check your username or password ada so we have to again sign up actually we have got the wrong credential so xyz and email id is xyz at the rate let's suppose let's try gmail.com age is 22 gender is male password is abc i'm retyping the password abc i'm signing up then i'm logging out from the account then i'm logging in and it's xyz at the rate of gmail.com and i think typing password is abc so now it had redirected to the template page here we are getting the username now we will go to the resume tips which will tells us how to create a effective and efficient resume first of all the first point of the resume tips is that the context of the resume makes a different believe it or not the construct of the resume makes a dra dramatic difference the, the what happens the what happens most of the times if a one if your friend and you are appearing for a job and your your friend has created a resume you take a hard soft copy you take a soft copy of it and you changes the credential and make it your resume so what happens if he had created a resume in a wrong format so you also have edit and created the resume in the wrong format so the context should be different because if the 
HR is seen the same resume, it will not make it appropriate because the, they are sitting there, they are hiring you, they know everything that you have copied it. So make a different resume because it will make a stand that this person has created something else from the others members. A little embellishment never hurt anybody. Think of your resume as an advertising selling your service. Like what happens by the advertisement company? They want, they make it attractive to sell their product to get more numbers of benefits and profits. Same, you also have to make your resume like you are selling something, like you are selling yourself. You want the HR to take you. So you have to make your resume attractive. Pro free reading is essential. Break up the paragraphs, the font matters. Yes, the font matters because if you are creating a resume, you don't have to make take a font as italic you have to take a font which will be appropriate and which will be appropriate and should be easily visible by everyone so the ideal font size is 12 because it's not large enough to because it's not large enough to read clearly but it does not look overwhelming achievements matter whatever you have achieved till now you have to make it because it will make a point to your career now we will go to the career guidelines what are the career guidelines you must follow to make a successful career first of all it's know yourself because most of the times what happens the hr ask about tell about yourself so first you have to take some time from your busy schedules you have to sit and you have to Talk with yourself that what are your skills, what you have done in your past life, what are your achievements, what are your what are your achievements, what are your negative points, what are your positive points. These things matter. Talks to the expert, talks to the HR, talks to the HR interviews, whatever. Like if you have a relative which is working in a multinational company then be in a daily talk with that HR HR or relative know the job market get addicted to the job market because you want a job you get have to be addicted with what are the recent trends and technologies are working in the market it helps the most concert various information sources in addition to educational institution and government agencies other sources of career information and reference material include public library etc let the student decide what happens in india the parents or the student decide what their son or daughter wants to do in their career which is not correct because in india most of the society are happens due to this so first of all a student have to talk with himself that what are his patience passion and what he want to do in its life because it it's life so the parents need to show a mutual understanding between his son or daughter etc and now we will go to the HR questions what are the different HR questions so these are the HR questions like first tell me about yourself as I have talked up in the earlier career guidelines talk with yourself why should you why should I hire you what are your strength and weakness what what do you want to work at our company etc these are some 20 questions around which will help you if you prepare these 20 questions beautifully you will be easily able to crack these interviews now we will go to templates here we have put two templates template one is this and the template two is this so in this what we are doing next in the in the next semester we will do like if someone is entering its name if someone is entering its credential and after choosing the template he have to enter its credential and after entering the credential the credential will be applied to the template that he has selected so then he will have to save it in the format what he want whatever like word document txt 
what he want 